All right, press for time here. I'm gonna do rapid fire. Three graphs, three, three, count them. One, two, three. Oh yeah, it is late in the day. I think I'm having a little trouble here. All right, so I'm gonna do four exponentials, two exponential growth, two exponential decay. I hope the numbers speak for themselves by the time you do the fourth one. I'm gonna do four logs. You're not gonna get any help. It's not in any textbooks, not anywhere else, just right here. Okay, but I'm hoping after four, some of you get it and then you become tutors, you explain it to others in the room. It'll stick with you. And then I'm gonna do four sinusoids. I'm gonna do a positive cosine, a negative cosine, a positive sine, a negative sine. It's not enough practice, I don't think, to have everybody understand what I'm doing, but it's a start, okay? So I'm just gonna go at it and I am going to see if I have a good marker here. And then I'm just gonna talk very quickly and you get to stop the video and try each one yourself first, and then stop the video and look at where the numbers go. There's obviously some patterns here. All right, so here we go. Let me give you some numbers, not necessarily fun numbers, but let's start with y equals 10. I'm gonna give you some time, time to amount, okay? So that I think you can easily see the times. 1950, something bigger than 10, how about 21? And over here, why don't we go to 1999 and let's go to, uh, I don't know, 43. All right, good enough. So how do you write this equation? You pause, you try. Well, first thing you do is you identify the three Y values. All right, keep track of those. So Y equals 10. Every value is above 10. How much is 21 above 10? 11, you'll stop dry, uh, drawing that after a while. Next one's not 11. The next one is 10 to 43 which is 33. Oh, wow, I got a tripling function. I did a pretty good job there, except that looks like a doubling function. So probably up there, a little better graph, okay? So those are the Y values. Now we gotta get 1950 and make it a zero. I'm gonna use T. So the time, so when you put 1950 in, you get zero, anything that the zero is one. So you get 11 plus 10, 21. How much time has elapsed? 1950, 49, 49 years. So when I put 1999 in, 49 divided by 49 gets me the base. That cancels 33 and 10 gets me 43. There's one. Do another exponential growth. I don't do, do two decays. Let's say y equals minus five. Growth, oh, I drew decay, I am tired. All right, here we go, there's growth. Now you know why I make mistakes on your answer key. All right, so that's gonna be, uh, how about 2020? There were, uh, I don't know, Six, six of these things. I guess I got the number 11 in my head. And 2029, how's that? Let's go from, uh, let's go up to 15. All right, so what do we got? We got y equals negative five. To get to six, I got to add 11. I got 11 again. So there's 11, that's not gonna happen the next time. Negative five to 15 is a jump of 20. So I got a bit of a do doubling function. So if that's that, doubling would have been better right about there, I think, in terms of a more accurate graph. And how much time has elapsed for that to happen? Nine years, okay. And so I got to make a zero out of 2020. So T minus 2020 over nine, I believe is what I said. Yes, that's the change in the years. All right, now we'll do two decay. Remember, you're pausing, trying it on your own. And I'm just doing this so that uh, we can make it work. All right, so how about we do uh, uh, two year 2000, there were 50. And let's go down here to the year 2003. So a lot of K here quickly, huh? Now something bigger than eight, 17. I, maybe not drawn to scale. So we start with the baseline, eight to 50 is 42. Next one's not 42. Next one's eight to 17, which is nine. So that's about one fourth, a little more than one fourth, a little smaller than one fourth actually. So um, that's the base and T minus 2000 divided by three, one more rep. And maybe you got a better shot at this tomorrow because I'm asking, it's a language. All right, another decay problem. Uranium, nah, let's do something else. That's got a half-life. Let's do uh, Y equals a negative three. Let's go with uh, 2010 to 2015. All righty. Some of you may already be writing X minus 2010. And uh, 15, so five years elapsed. So minus three to get to some number. Let's go. <laughs> Look, I like the number 11 today. Minus three goes to eight, must be Freudian. 
Uh, so minus three plus 11 takes me to eight. And then uh, we've got to get some number here bigger than negative three. How about we go to one? Uh, well, that's not 11 units, that's four. Uh, so it's about a third. This is about a third of that. All right, and there's that. Okay, hope you did a little better. Now we're going to do the log, which you haven't done much of at all. So x equals three. We'll do the inverse of growth. Let's do 2020. Let's get the year and let's go to five. That five is bigger than three. Let's go to 2029. Notice the numbers are similar to what you were working with before. So if that's two units, then that might be three. Three plus three is, uh, oh no, that's two units. And that looks to be about six units. So that's going to take me, let's make it 10. All right. All right. So you start with y equals, right? Well, these aren't y values. Those are x values. That's a y value. Let's make it 12. So that's a y value. So you start with the one you see first. And then you say, how do you get to 12? Well, you got to add seven. All right. It's a logarithm. I hope you can see we're, we're looking at the exponents that it takes. Okay, uh, uh, where I was, I? oh yeah, so x equals three. So I'm gonna do x minus three because logs have to be working with positive numbers. And this is bringing your attention to three. So the domain of this is x is greater than three. So we draw a little line down at x equals three and we know everything's happening over there. So I put the number, uh, oh, that, that's a, that, oh, starting again. I got confused with my X's and my Y's. Excuse me. Pause the video, burn it. All right, so X equals three. All right, so this is five gets me 2020. I'm going from amounts to years, okay. And uh, 12 gets me 2029. So excuse me, I butchered that last one because I'm trying to hurry to get out of here. So Y equals 2020. And we'll see it work now. 2020 to 29 is a jump of nine years. It's a logarithm. I want to be bigger than x equals three. So I say x minus three, that part was fine. Now I'm going to drop a five in. Five minus three is two. I have no idea what log two is. But if I divide by two, I have log one. I know that's zero. I don't care what the base is. V to the zero is one. So that's what we do the first time. So five minus three, whatever that is, divide it out. And now you get zero when you put in five. I hope you can see that. You get zero times nine is zero. You get that. And you've also got the domain restriction. Now you put 12 in. 12 minus three is nine halves. I don't know what log nine halves is. I got no idea. But I do know if I make that the base, I get the number one. So nine halves. One times nine is nine plus 2020, 2029. 20, All right, that's one of them. We're going to do two or three more. All right. Let's do, uh, let's do x equals 10. Let's do this one. Let's do a, a decay problem. Let's do uh, a 12 gets me 20, 20. And let's do um, a 15 gets me 20, 29. Okay, so what do you start with? Same thing, left to right. First y value, 20, 20. And then I want to get what? 20, 29. So I got to go up nine. And I can multiply that by zero, that'll get me 2020. And I can multiply that by one, that gets me 2029. So I got to make a log equal zero, and I got to make a log equal one. And then I've got the numbers that I want. All right, so I put a log here. I also have a domain restriction of 10. So I'm going to write x minus 10. All right, so I got to have numbers bigger than 10, or this thing doesn't even work. So I put a 12 in. 12 minus 10 is two. Okay, well, that's gonna get me log one, which is zero. Bingo, I got one of them. Then I'm gonna put a 15 in. That's gonna get me five halves. Well, that's fine. If I make the base five halves, I got a one. You put this in Desmos, you got that graph. Okay, next one. Uh, again, x equals, let's go one. Let's go over here and let's make this uh, 83. And let's make this 1900. Let's make this 97. Well, it's got to be a whole lot more than that, wouldn't it? 197. Let's make that equal to 1900. That's going to be a y value. So let's make this 2001. Nice movie, I think. All right. Yeah. 
So y equals, what do you start with? First y value. How do you get to the next y value? You've got to add 101. Okay, that only works if I make this zero. That gets me 1900. And it only works if I make this a one. That gets me 2001. So how do you make a log equal to zero? Well, first, we got to get the domain restriction. Domain restriction is one, so x minus one. Now I put 83 in and that's 80. I don't know what log 80 is. But if I divide it by 80, I get log one. Well, there's my zero. I don't care what the base is, because the zero is one. So 83 minus one is 82. So excuse me, slow brain. So 82 is what I wanted to divide by. And now I've got to put the second X in, 197 minus one is 196 over 82. And if I add log 196 over 82, and I make that the base, oh, I, re I made a one, yay! One times that is that, plus that is that, boom, we're done. One more. Then I'm gonna do four sinusoids. Just a little extra practice, a little extra rep. It's gotta be in your head for a few days. Let's go X equals minus five. There we go. Let's get me a two equals uh, 1950. And let's get a, I don't know, that's seven units. From, that's seven units, so seven, 14, 21, 28, 35. Let's make that go 35 from negative five, 30. I hope I did that right, but who knows? And let's go to 1957. All right, so what do I have? I have Y, which is a year. And I know I want to get to 1957, that's seven. I got to create a zero and one. It's a logarithm. I got to get the domain restriction, negative five. So I say X plus five. Boom, I throw in my first X. That's what you do, you use them. Two plus five is seven. Seven divided by seven is one. Log one is zero. Zero times seven is zero. 1950, it works for that. And it works for that. Now when I drop in a 30, I get 35 over seven, which is actually five. So I get log base five of five, which is one. One times seven is seven plus 1950 is the year I want. I hope you get a sense of the exponential was the years to the amounts. Now we're going from the amounts to the years. Okay, four sinusoids. Four sinusoids. All right, so let's get something here. All right, let's start over here at a max. The cosine of zero is one. You never get bigger than one for a ratio in the sine and cosine function. So I'm gonna work with a positive cosine and I'm gonna still stick with years. 1950 gets me, let's say it gets me eight. And over here, let's go to here. So uh, 1957, 1999, I think we did that once before, it should come back to you. Let's go to two, okay? So the most important is the middle value. And the middle value in this case, oh God, I hope you can see what I was working on. God, I didn't really turn that. Okay, I've been kind of here. Uh, I can't do the video again. I gotta get out of here. So I hope I captured everything if I didn't. Uh, uh, all right, so what do I got? I got two plus eight is 10, so the middle's five. So you start there. How do you get from five to eight? You add three. You said cosine of zero is a max. You're at a max. It's easy to make 1950 a zero. So that's cosine function. Bumpity, bumpity. I'm going to write X. Let's do, man, let's stick with X. X minus 1950. So when I put 1950 in, I get the cosine of zero, which is one. One times three is three plus five is eight. It works for that. And it also works for that. I just got to make it work for 1999. 1999 minus 1950 is 49 years. And we want 49 years to act like, let's see, one revolution, two and a half revolutions. One revolution is one pi, two pi, three pi, four pi, five pi. Done. Next one. I won't go from there. Next time I'll go from here. Well, that's in the middle. So I know it's a sine function, but it's in the middle going down. So it's gonna be a negative sine function. So let's get a uh, new middle here. Let's get 50. Let's get, let's go up to a height of uh, 75 and let's go down to 25, 25. All right, so I'm at a height of 50, but I'm going up and down 25. We know it's a sine curve. I, I know I can make a zero out of uh, 2001. 
is the X. So I'm going to get X minus 2001 in here. Okay, so now when I put 2001, I get the sine of zero. Well, where's zero in the circle? Zero is right there. Okay, there's no height, so that is zero. Zero times anything is zero. I get what I want, 50. Now the question is, how do I get here? Well, let's go up to 75. Let's go 2008. Okay, I haven't repeated any numbers. So 2008 gets me a change of seven years. Now I got to count the revolutions. Go check. One pi. Two pi. And see, now you start to repeat that pattern. Down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, <laughs> down, down, up, down. Okay, you guys had enough. So that's one pi, two pi, three, four, five and a half. So 5.5 pi, not very friendly, but oh, so if you're in the middle and going down, it's a minus, right? So if I put 2008 in, um, I'm not going to take the time to do it because I got to get out of here. So two more. We'll develop that further as we uh, get past midterm. This is just to see if you can spend some time looking at what I did and do it mechanically, and that's on you. All right, so now we're going to do this one. Name that tune. And I'm going to give you 1923. Very good year, uh, 47. And let's go over here. Let's go to 1933. Not the greatest year. Great Depression. Let's go to 57. All right. So it looks to me like there's a change of 10 from max to min, min to max. So therefore, I'm five units shy. That's 52. Yeah, I should be able to write this. So from the midline, I am going down to 47. So that's down five. And max and min's are best done with the cosine function. I could have done it with a sine function, but I just don't want to do that until after midterm. <coughs> so what do we got? We got one pi, two pi, three pi, four pi, five pi, six pi, seven pi. And that took 1923 to 1933, 10 years. And I want to make a zero out of 1923. So X minus 1923. All right, the only one we haven't done is a positive sine function. I'm going to do it right now. New numbers. Okay, positive sine functions when you start in the center. So I'm going to call that point about 1953. And let's go with a value of 100. So that's the midline. It's right in the middle. And let's end over here. Let's end right there. And that's going to be uh, 1957. And let's go up to 120. All right, so 100, middle, up and down 20. Positive sign because I'm in the middle and going up. So it's a positive sign if you're in the circle. There's zero degrees, and then the triangles do what? They go up as we go around. So heights are going up. So it's a positive sign function. What have I got? One pi, two and a half pi. Two and a half pi. So that's one and a half revolutions. There's the first revolution. And is that a quarter revolution? Yeah, it's a quarter revolution. So why did I say, yeah, this is one quarter, two quarters, three, four. Yeah, okay. And what did that take? 1957, 1940 years. Make a zero out of 1953. I'm going to run over there, shut this off, upload it. You've got a little practice. All right, test tomorrow. Look at the other videos I did. That's on you.